Hey nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to learn how to create a jazzy little drop down list using data validation within Excel. All right, let's nerd out. The first thing that we are going to do is select the cell where we want to contain the drop down list. From there, we will head on over to the data tab, and under data tools, we will select data validation. From the settings menu, there is a drop down list for allow. And this is where you would define the criteria that you will allow or accept in this cell. In this example, we are going to create a list. You do have a couple of options here, so you can ignore blank in cell drop down. This is where you would turn on or off the drop down menu. I personally like the drop down list, so I'm going to keep that on. Under source, if we click this arrow here, then this is where we can select the cells that contain the information that we want to appear in the drop down list. So I'm going to select all of these reservation numbers here. And if we just click this little button, then we go back to the data validation settings. The next item that I wanted to show you was the input message. Now there is an ability to toggle this on or off. I'm going to keep it on and this is just going to provide the user with a little bit of information or instructions on how to use this sheet. Similarly, there is an error alert. So if the user enters incorrect data, then this notification will pop up and help them correct the error. So we have a title and an error message. There are just a couple of styles here. So if you want it to be a warning or information, again, we can turn this off if we would like. Now, when we click in this cell, you will see that that input message is populating and we have this drop down arrow where I can now select the reservation numbers that we defined from this list over here. Now, if I go PB4, then I'm going to get that error message saying, please select a valid reservation number from the drop down list. So if I say, okay, then we will clear this again, select a valid reservation number, and that works. And I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. If you haven't already, then please hit that subscribe button. And also check out this video here that shows data validation in action. All right, thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.